If you're ready to submit your effect but you're not quite sure what they're going to ask of you, here it all is. So the first thing you're going to need to do is click on preview in TikTok. Here you're going to take a video of yourself using your effect and you're going to save it onto your device. One thing to take note of, just make sure that your video isn't any longer than 15 seconds. After you've done all that, come back to Effect House and hit Submit. Here a little pop-up panel is going to come up asking you to upload a thumbnail that you're going to have to have made yourself. Put in a title for your effect and add in an effect hint explaining to people what they need to do in order for your effect to work. Right now I'm about to submit the Psyche randomizer effect that I made in the previous video. So for my effect title I just named it Psyche K main characters. For my effect I won't be adding an effect hint because I feel like randomizer effects are pretty intuitive especially for you know anyone who's ever used TikTok before. So I'm just going to click none but the options are many. So if you need to tap your screen for your effect to work, you'd hit tap screen. There are options like open mouth, try with friends, or show your face. Just gonna go down the list here. If you need to blink for your effect to work, point your camera at a dog or a cat, or a dog or a cat, and several more. This hint is gonna be shown to your users when they select your effect so they know what to do and they aren't like baffled with, you know, an effect that they think isn't working. So this is mainly for your users to understand what to do with your effect once they click it. From there, you're just going to browse your computer for the thumbnail that you made. Just make sure that the thumbnail is square because of the way it's presented on TikTok and hit upload. For me, since Psyche is the main character of the show, I'm just going to use his randomizer image, like the one that's actually in, in the randomizer effect. With your thumbnails, don't, don't think too hard about it. Just make sure that it's sort of clear for, you know, TikTok users to understand what it does just by looking at the photo. So if it's like a beauty filter, you know, make it an image so people can see what they're going to be getting out of it. Um, it's also going to go hand in hand with the name of your effect. So just make sure that, you know, you coordinate those two to sort of give people a fuller picture of what it is that your effect does. If it's like camera work, then you know, you might want to draw your thumbnail out to sort of explain the way in which, you know, the camera works. So if it, if, you know, your camera rotates and just have like a rotating arrow or something that, that shows that. Um, but don't make it super complicated and don't add like a whole lot of stuff to it because it is going to be presented as like a small little square. Once your effect has been uploaded, then you're going to be taken on over to the internet automatically. You don't have to do that yourself. And obviously for me, since I've uploaded, you know, an effect before, it's asking if I want to like update an effect that I've done or create a new one. So I'm going to click create a new one. If this is your first time, you obviously won't get this question and you're going to head, you're, you're going to be taken straight onto the next page. All right, and then you're going to be taken to this page where you need to explain to TikTok what exactly your effect is. So you're going to go to category, all the things in stars are, you know, things that are compulsory for you to fill in. So you're going to have to tell them if it's a green screen effect, if it's like a funny sort of, you know, effect, if it's a beauty filter, if it's accessories, if it's an editing tool, like, you know, camera spin or like the zoom you know like crash zoom or whatever um and you know the rest is is it music world they are interactive all that sort of thing you have to select the one you feel fits most so if you feel like they don't exactly fit your category you can't just leave it blank you do need to select the one you feel like fits most with what you've done from there you're going to need to select tags for your effect this is basically to just explain to TikTok that if, you know, the user doesn't type out the exact name of your effect, what are other alternatives that they could use that would still lead you to your effect. And then if you have anything else you want to tell them about your effect, then you'd put it in the additional comments, but that isn't compulsory, so you can leave that blank if you have nothing to say. Also, if you created an effect for, like, a, a challenge, 
then you'd obviously go to challenge and select the challenge that you're entering your effect for. Alright, so once you're done with all that, you're going to come here to upload demo video and you're going to take that video that I told you about at the beginning of the video, the preview and TikTok video that you saved. You are going to upload that video here and you will be done. All right, and make sure that your video is uploaded in 16 by 9, which is a fancy word for vertical. Make sure that it is an MP4 or MOV. If you've saved it to your device from TikTok, then you shouldn't have a problem with the file format. Make sure that your file isn't any higher than 32 megabytes and make sure that it isn't longer than 15 seconds. I also thought that I should mention that the video that you take here isn't going to be uploaded to your TikTok feed so you don't need to worry about your audience seeing your super cringy upload video unless of course you want to upload it but that's something you're going to do yourself later on. This video is going to be seen by I guess employees at TikTok that are going to approve of your video and like no one else. Also, if you don't want to be in the video, then you don't have to be in the video either. It just needs to demonstrate how your effect works. So for the previous effect that I did, I didn't want to be in it because my hair looked an absolute mess. I just took my teddy bear. It was a pan effect. I took my teddy bear and I essentially just demonstrated that the teddy bear moves from left to right, even though the camera is still. You don't need to be in that video. It just needs to show what your effect does. I guess I didn't look the worst for this video, so here it is. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. Who do we get? Kermie. And once you've done that, then hit submit and it'll submit your effect. It's also gonna take a while depending on, you know, your computer and your internet and all that, but don't worry, it will upload. And then you're gonna be taken over to this page that says that your effect has been submitted and that they're going to notify you of your effect within one to three business days typically for me it doesn't take any more than like two hours but i guess that varies according to like how clear you are with your effect if it's a you know working day and other effects at tiktok i don't know um but for me, usually like between 45 minutes to two hours, my effect should be up and running and you're going to get an email saying that, hey, oh my gosh, congratulations. So yeah, that is essentially how you upload your effect onto TikTok. Thank you for watching. I am Sparkleberry Jam on TikTok and YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and IG. And I will see you the next time you're stuck.